Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking flying plane animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I've just opened up this file uh, that I downloaded from freepick.com and I've opened it up in Illustrator. Now what you need to do is you need to separate all the things that you want to animate on a separate layer. So for example, we want this uh, little scarf to animate and we want the blades of the plane to animate. So we have to make sure that we go and find them and then put them on another layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to find uh, this silhouette and then just delete that because I don't need that. I'm then going to find the scarf and I'm just going to click on the new layer and just drag it to the new layer and then I'm just going to find the blades and so the blades are all here so now I'm going to take all of those three things because that cap is kind of connected to the blades so all I'm going to do is just grab those three things and put them onto a new layer and then to be honest everything else can be on its own layer so now all you need to do is just come over here and save that as an Adobe Illustrator file. So just go to save as and then click Adobe Illustrator. So now we've opened up uh, After Effects and what we need to do is we need to create a new composition. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run with 1920 by 1080 pixels and I'm going to have the duration probably about 10 seconds. Then I'm just going to press OK. So now once we've got our composition, what we need to do is we need to right click and add a new solid. So I'm just going to leave it black and just press OK. I need to come over to my effects and presets panel and look for fractal noise and drag it to my solid. Now I need to change a few things in here. I'm going to change the contrast to let's say 2600 and the brightness to negative 400. I'm going to come over here to the transform settings, untick uniform scaling and change the width to 35 and I'm also going to change the height to 4000 and once you've done that then these lines should start to appear and that's looking pretty cool but now we need to add some animation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold alt and then I'm going to click on the stopwatch for evolution and then I'm going to write time times 1000 and so if you've done that correctly and you play that back, you can see that you've got all of these lines coming down and that's looking pretty cool. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to look up another effect called polar coordinates. And I'm just going to drag that to my solid. Now this one, we're just going to bump up all the way to 100% and we are just going to change the type to react to polar. And now we've got this cool looking circular kind of effect and that's looking great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here I'm going to right click and then I'm going to pre-compose this and I'm going to call this lines. And before I do that I need to move all the attributes into the new composition and then just press OK. So now once I'm in my new composition, the next thing that I need to do is press S on my keyboard for scale and I just need to scale up the lines until it all hits all the sides of the actual composition. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm, I have that layer selected. I'm going to come over here and we are going to create a mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold Alt and then I'm just going to hold Control and I'm going to hold Shift and I'm just going to draw a mask in the middle of my composition and then once I've done that what I need to do is I just need to click this button over here to invert that and then I need to open up these mask settings and I just need to increase the feather slightly and so and also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up the mask expansion as well so what you want to look for is this is where we are going to put our aeroplane. So you, you don't want all the lines to go too crazy over there, but you just want them to be um, a little bit faint over here. So the next step is we need to add a new solid and we need to add some color to this solid. So I'm just going to leave the color as black for now because I'm just going to come over here and just uh, add the fill effect to it. Now I need to import some colors that I'm going to get from Color Hunt. So I'm just going to drag it into my After Effects composition. Now the colors that you use, you, you want to go for a pretty dark color so that you can actually see the lines. And once you're happy with that, you can then just um, uncheck that so you don't really see it. You then need to make sure that the 
color is underneath the lines and then we need to come over here and toggle switches and then just make sure that the lines are set to screen and there we've got that and that's looking pretty cool at the moment so the final thing that we need to do is we need to add the aeroplane so if we come over here to our project and we right click import file we can import our aeroplane illustrator file and once you find your file, what you want to do is you want to import it as a composition. So now I've got that, now I've got my plane there and what I can do is I can bring it down and I can put it to wherever I like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale it up slightly and I'm just going to put it in the middle of my mask. So now we need to start animating the actual, you know, the blades on the plane and the scarf. So what I need to do is I need to double click on my um layer with all of my plane elements and the first thing that i need to do is i just need to toggle switches and i just want to continuously rasterize just to make sure that the quality is always going to be good and we can do that in the main comp as well but the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to animate this scarf so i'm just going to come over here make sure that i'm on the right layer and i'm going to look for an effect called wave warp and then i'm going to come over here and i'm just going to lower the height because it's a it's a bit too much over there so I'm just gonna bring it down to about five and I'm gonna change the width to maybe let's say 30 and so now if I've done that correctly you can see that the the layer over here is it's got a nice wave to it so the wave is looking pretty good and I've just made sure that I moved that layer underneath my head layer so the final thing that we need to do here is we need to find where the blades are so they're there and then I need to press R on my keyboard for a rotation and then I need to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then write this value time times 1000 and so if you've done that correctly you will see now that the propellers or the blades are spinning so now we can go back to our main comp and if we preview that you can see that we've got the wave of the scarf in the background and we also have the blades moving which is looking pretty cool. So the final thing is we just want the plane to kind of sway um, side to side. So what we need to do is we need to press P on our keyboard for position, hold Alt and click the stopwatch and then we can write this wiggle uh, expression. So we'll go wiggle 130 and if we preview that you can see now that the plane is you know moving around like that we can actually increase that to let's say you know 230 and then the final thing is to just add another wiggle rotation but this time to the rotation so all I'm going to do is press R on my keyboard for rotation hold alt click on the stopwatch and then I can write wiggle Let's say this time we'll go 1, uh, 30 and we'll give that a test and this looks like it's way too much so I'm just going to bring that down to about 20. So now if I preview that, you can see that the plane is moving from side to side and it's looking pretty cool even though that's too much as well. So maybe 10. And yeah, and so you can experiment with your own settings here and once you're happy with your settings you can export this and the other thing that you can add to this is you can add the sound effects of the propellers going on the plane or some kind of uh, whooshing noise. But yeah, but that's about it for this tutorial. So anyways, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.